Benjamin Netanyahu, when he quoted Amalek, mm. the scriptures, what does Amalek say? Mm. It, he, he quotes Amalek when they attacked the Israelites. And what God told the Israelites to do was to destroy every kill, every man, woman, child, and livestock. Mm. If I would put it to you, an Islamist leader was quoting a similarly genocidal passage from the Quran, you would not, I would say, I respond? hesitate. I, respond? Well, I assume the speech is referring to, because this one that's always been quoted is the one on the 28th of October. And in that speech, Netanyahu evoked Amalek. Now, you know, and I know, and I think anyone watching your channel, I think you've done a whole bunch of videos. I think you actually did one with me a few years ago when you asked yeah. about what Am Amalek means. You know, people sometimes say Hitler's Amalek and, and the Nazis were Amalek. So there is a biblical nation called Amalek in the biblical text that's seen as the most horrifically evil, committed to the total genocide of the Jews, and in which the, the biblical command is to destroy them. Uh, how that's interpreted, there's definitely interpretation that included wiping out the entire tribe in a total war. However, nobody thinks there is a physical genetic Amalek or any version of that nowadays. And nobody's thought that for thousands of years. And when somebody says Hitler's Amalek, they do not mean that if we can go and wipe out every German. Even in the middle of World War II, when somebody says the Nazis are Amalek, they mean they are the most evil, they're out there to genocidally kill us. That's the label that is used. Nobody thinks that means that you can even go and kill German civilians, right? Absolutely nobody would have thought that during World War II, I'm saying, right? Nobody would have interpreted that way. And that's ridiculous. And when Netanyahu said in that same speech where he said, we're fighting an evil like Amalek, he's referring to people who came across the border and literally beheaded babies. Yeah, Hamas, have have yeah. Such a horrific, yeah, Hamas have to have such a horrific cruelty. He's saying they are Amalek. We have to remember the biblical injunction, remember Amalek, which people nowadays means remember that when evil stands up to kill you, don't be timid in its, in its face. Don't be scared of the horrificness of them and don't be merciful on them. You have to eliminate them because they're going to come and kill you all. That doesn't mean killing civilians. Two paragraphs later in the same speech, and it's online. You can find that speech. Everybody can see that speech. Netanyahu spoke about the Israeli army being the most moral in the world. And he said specifically because it will never target civilians. Now, you could perhaps think that secretly Israel's really instructed its army to do something different. I mean, the army would be doing a, really be a hopeless army because it has the capability of destroying the whole of Gaza in a matter of hours if it wanted to. It's clearly not trying to kill the civilians of Gaza. It evacuated a million civilians out of Gaza City when it was going to send its ground troops in, despite Hamas trying to keep those millions in as, as human shields. It doesn't look anything remotely like a genocide. Yes, there is tragic numbers of civilian deaths. You know, the West... Britain and America had the same problem when it went after ISIS in Iraq. There were thousands of civilian deaths. I don't think anybody thinks it was a genocide or an attempt at anything other than mo the moral attempt to destroy ISIS and the tragedy of how you try to do that when there's so many human shields around. But the point is you cannot say that Netanyahu's speech meant that Israelis are meant to wipe out men, women, and children when he explicitly said that's not it. He explicitly said we are not going to attack the civilians. Right? And then he criticized Hamas for leaving them as human shields and what a horrific crime they're committing against the Palestinian people. He said that.